so it's a uh, Sunday we got a couple little projects we're gonna do follows here so we've been working on sealing everything up on the boat pretty tirelessly um, I gotta head up the mast fix one of my spreader covers one of my little spreader corner guards I should say um, not a real big task but a little windy up here today so what I'm gonna do today is I figured I would show what I'm using to go up the mast for anyone that's curious um, so a little while back I got some climbing gear online to so I go up the mast solo so I wasn't having stuff haul me up the mast so I uh, I was at work and I was talking to one of the riggers who uses the senders to go up by himself and uh, so I put together basically a little quickie cheap I, mean, I think a couple hundred bucks into it a cheap setup to go up the mast solo and comfortably we've done it a few times now so I'm gonna do it again today but I'm gonna do a walkthrough because um, there's a lot of mixed information um, of my experience what I'm using um, showing how you set it up and then going up the mast too and kind of give you an idea what if this is something that someone's looking to do um, so I'll just start from here uh, so I'll put links below this is a basic climbing harness so we've got legs waist chest you can do just waist if you want um, we have this is a hand ascender okay so this will be what's actually tagged off to my harness and then this is also a sender but I'm going to use this as a foot ascender and then you buy a foot loop and then this will tag in here and again I'm going to show how this all goes together so it'll make a little more sense but um there's different setups one thing i do recommend is i accidentally ordered the single foot ascender if there's something you want to do the dual foot's way better um i'll probably end up buying one of those soon but i thought i got the dual one and i didn't i was looking through a bunch of things but we got everything off amazon i think we were a couple hundred bucks into this and it's all good stuff um so yeah i'm gonna start putting together and kind of show and then i'm gonna show the ascend and it's really comfortable going up um, opposed to being hauled up the comfort level. I don't know why, but I'm actually all able to go up and work, um, haul tools up, stuff like that. So it's got side hooks on it so I can hook on tools or buckets or whatever, and I can let the bucket down on my long line. Um, for my harness line, just from my harness to the ascender, I actually just have a rope and I have, you'll notice it's super long in the video. I'll have it tied up this time, but that is so I can drop it down and put a tool bucket on it and pull it up and so Steph can put stuff in there I can haul it up but I'll kind of show that as I go through. So basically I got the harness on here and I've got my line that ties off to this ascender so I'll hook this guy in here and this is going to be basically what's hanging me and this is what I'm going to slide up and it's going to be a step slide you kind of step pull yourself up and then ratchet this up and then this guy here We'll have the foothold hooked into it, but we gotta hook it on the rope first, so we'll go over and do that now. Oh. Alright, so it's our hand ascender here. Just gonna loop here. And you'll wanna get that distance good because that's your outreach pole. I think I'm a little bit short, but it'll work for this one. And then this is that extra rope I was talking about. gonna clip it up for now I usually use this for tools or whatnot All right. okay. so this guy so I'll twist it up so this guy here has a paw and as you pull up it ratchets and when you want it you pull it back here to go down and then you drop this little dog here out to actually completely open it make sure it's good so you basically you'll go up that's when you want to go down when you go up it should just ratchet up and then you pull this out only when you want to go down so set that up there this is the center that I'm using for the foot Clip it in there, and this tilts and locks, slides up, same thing, you just slide up with your hand, 
when you want to go down and release, push here, it slides up and down. So that's where we're gonna put our foothold on. And this is where I recommend the, the two foothold. The one's a little cumbersome, two's definitely better. And then as you lift up, you push with your hand and then you're gonna step, push up, and then you'll slide here. And then hang on this, push up, and you'll see it's real, real awkward. Honestly, it gets better, but it's real awkward. So, okay, so step up, put your weight on the harness, then foot goes up, step up. Ooh. Good. Yeah. Okay, now to descend. Yeah, and something I learned the hard way, you can't have any pressure on the top one in order to go back down. Descending sucks. Yeah. So obviously it didn't go very high. It's pretty windy. And obviously, yeah, when the wind gets kicked and you kind of swing around, you lose control a little bit. But uh, I was going to check one of our spreader wires too. Is, our spreader lights is wonky. I wanted to see what it looked like up there. It looks like the wiring's fine, so it's probably down here. Um, but yeah, it's a quick run through. Uh, going down is definitely a lot worse. That takes a little more practice. Going up, you can get moving pretty quick. Um, Definitely recommend doing it in good conditions. I don't do it with a lot of wind. Yeah, so that's a quick run through. If you have questions, comment below. I'll help where I can. Again, not an expert. I've been up a few times and it's definitely my favorite way to go up. So um, yeah, if you have questions, comment below. But that's just a quick little run through of our little budget ascenders to go up. It's just climbing gear, nothing fancy, and it works pretty good for this rig. All right, bye. <laughs>